Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. No, I'm just kidding. Sup, ugly motherfuckers. <laughs> brand new video for today as you can see by the title I think this is gonna be an eventful day vlog and by eventful I mean I'm going to the gym running some errands and going out you know the drill today already I've been to the gym two three times a week so I'm finally done very excited for that I know you can't see it on my face but I'm excited <laughs> this is my excited face um, and now I'm on my way to the gym now let's talk a little bit about my fitness journey okay because a lot of you guys may not know that I already lost like 30 pounds last year or something like that just cutting things out of my diet and going on little walks um, and I already lost 30 pounds however right when I was getting into more of my strength training and lifting weights and really doing harder workouts that's when I got into my car accident and I was making some good 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 progress until that happened this sun is really killing me but now I'm at the point where I'm getting back into working out. It's been, like I said, six, seven months. I've taken a lot of time off just because I really couldn't work out. I couldn't lift weights because my shoulder, my neck, like I couldn't support myself in my spine. I couldn't support it. So um, I'm just now getting into working out for 2024 again. <sighs> so this is like my second third fitness journey since the pandemic the first one was pretty successful lost the 30 pounds then the second one I'm calling it the second one I got into the car accident and then now this is my third one and now this is the one where we're actually going to stick with it and keep on going so my Saturday morning routine always consists of going to the gym sorry got a road rage this bitch is a bitch but anyways now I'm finally at a point in my fitness journey where we're going hard we're doing it up and like I was saying part of my Saturday morning routine is quite literally to go to the gym get up go to the gym run my little errands and get ready for my night because usually I'm doing something on Saturday night <laughs> so we're getting our first Saturday of the year started off right we're going to the gym, and I can see my gym crush. It's 8.37, a little bit early, but it's whatever. I'm going to the gym, I'm on my way there. I'll see y'all in a cool little minute. That was pretty, you know, pretty good, a pretty good workout. As you can see, I just did about an hour on the treadmill, and then I did some other weights, lifted some other weights as well. That was a really good workout. I'm just now getting back into my fitness journey, as you saw. So, I'm really excited to kind of not even bring y'all along because it's not our fitness journey, but kind of just track my progress through through video, through vlogs, you know? 
what else did I do today? Oh yeah, I also went to Amazon Go. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have those little um, automated, self-automated stores where you're at. But yeah, went to Amazon Go. That was a fiasco. Check it out. <laughs> guys, I have so many Amazon returns that I need to get rid of. I have this wig I tried on. I just gotta get rid of this stuff. I need my trunk back, so I'm pulling up to Amazon Go. I don't know, do you guys have these in your city? The little, what is it called? people list stuff <laughs> ran by AI oh my gosh I know right yeah just wave it on the top one on the far right yeah and what is it? How do you get to it? Go right here. Here you go. Thank you. Go, go to your home. And then go to up here. It's like your in-store code. Right there. Oh, okay. Thank that you. And this, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Scan it on the top. Just, yeah. Like, hold it up a little bit. Got it. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that was a bit difficult. <laughs> um, zero out of 10, recommend. I don't know how we're gonna be moving towards self automation when that is what we have to troubleshoot through. And then the worker, <laughs> the other old guy, it's me and an old guy, I can't get in. The worker was literally so rude to him. She was like, I don't know what to tell you. If you don't have your app, you don't have your QR code. Self-automation is not gonna work in the United States. We're too mean. Americans too mean. And now, I'm here. Getting ready, I'm about to go to a basketball game. I'm getting ready, as you can see. About to go to a little basketball game at the Staples Center. Um, my friend will be performing at the game. I'm really more excited to see her. I don't really watch basketball like that. <laughs> So, don't really care about that, I'm not gonna lie. I'm just gonna let this concealer sit for a little minute. But, for today, today's the first topic, first topic of the year. I really wanna talk about black women and black women's beauty, and not from the same kind of framework that I've always talked about it as. It's like, oh, these bitches wanna embrace us, they wanna be us, oh my gosh, every single cosmetic procedure out is to be black woman. <laughs> Like, not even from that place but just I want to talk about the beauty of black women that I see and obviously the beauty that I see in myself as you see I have really become I'm having a natural woman winter that's what I call it where I'm natural nails lashes hair I mean I don't do anything else but hair nails lashes teeth as you can see um <laughs> what else everything just taking everything away and falling back in love with my natural beauty and let me just talk about my journey for a little bit as this concealer dries over the last few months of my natural woman winter it started in mid-october that's when i officially took my braids out and then november i took no more lashes and then nails i don't really do nails so that's like september october too and over the past few months, I'm not going to lie, it has been the hardest, this natural woman winter. This winter has literally been the hardest it has been for the past, like, three years of falling back in love with my natural self. And obviously, I am aware of the things at play for me that are feeding some of these insecurities, right? But... I know that the same thing feeding my insecurities might be the same thing feeding you guys' insecurities. You know what I mean? Because I'm looking at myself. I look at myself every day. Mirror right here. We locked in and we know <laughs> we're gorgeous. Like, if anybody wants to agree with, disagree with that, you're, in my opinion, you're just blind or you're a hater. Like, if you disagree with my beauty, I don't, 
I can't help you. <laughs> you just, you're too lost. But even for me, and knowing how much confidence I have, it's still been hard just on a daily basis to consistently show up for myself securely. Um, securely and securely in my beauty. So when I am having these like insecure moments of like, ugh, I don't really like my natural hair. Ooh, I really need some lashes. Ooh, I could really throw on some makeup or whatever. When I'm having those moments, these are some of the things that I kind of reinforce within myself to kind of keep keep thriving and keep keep kind of seeing the beauty of me and of all black women in general. So number one, of course, we all know that black women have the most amazing skin in the game. Like ever, <laughs> ever, ever, ever. Black women have some of the most amazing skin, the softest skin, the most like glowy skin. We, we have that, right? But on top of that, we also black don't crack you know and that's one thing that I think about a lot let me blend this out hold on but like I was saying we all know black doesn't crack that's just another fact of life right and that's one thing that I love to tell myself in my moments of feeling insecure because no matter what we're feeling now, in 10 years, it's not going to matter. Any insecurity that I have now, in 10 years, it's not going to matter. I'm going to be looking totally different. So it's almost like rely on the simple fact that your black ain't going to crack. And even if it does crack, you know yourself so much to where you could still reel it back in. To where you could still get a look off. If I was a burn patient, no fist to burn patients, you know, full body of burn, you know, you know what I mean? I would still look good. <laughs> like, so just remember that. Just reinforce that. Reinforce that idea. And honestly, I think it's a fact of the simple fact that as I get older, I have less anxiety in general. And I kind of Anything having to do with the future, I kind of am like, okay, well, it's in God's hands and it's going to work out. Like, it's no way that it's not almost. So, if I'm ever feeling insecure, it's like, don't try to go get Botox. Just know, black don't crack. It's going to work out. Whatever you're feeling insecure about, you can easily fix and change because you don't have a face full of filler. You don't have a face that's not your own. You know what I mean? Another thing people always ask me... <laughs> Because I do natural woman winter every winter and just in general, I'm definitely an advocate for black beauty in general. I love big lips. I love a wide nose. I love kinky textured hair. I love black and blue and purple and different deeper tones. I love it. So another thing people always ask me about whether it's on social media or in real life is about like loving your hair and just natural hair care in general now i'm not the best <laughs> when it comes to taking care of your natural hair if you watch any of my vlogs you know this i don't ever pretend to be the guru for natural hair but i'm a guru for loving it no matter what you know what i mean so people always ask me like what helps you love your hair more and I don't think people know just how beautiful black hair is. Like, our hair is so, for one, thick. But as delicate as it is, it also signifies, at least to me, a lot of strength as well. And in general, the history of black hair and black women, black women's hair, and for one, how it's been just a tool of oppression obviously but also a tool for strength a tool for revolution a tool for like expression just in general just for all of us in 2023 to want to have a wig or a weave or straight hair of some sort 
you know what I mean and we don't have we really don't have enough representation of different types of black hair different hairstyles being natural and everything but to me that's really what it signifies and just knowing that my hair texture it's the same texture of the ancestors who literally built so much and my hair and the hairstyles that I choose I mean I don't choose to do too much but the overall representation and love for the beauty of black hair is really why I love my hair <laughs> it's no it's really that simple it's no other explanation other than that it's like if you recognize the beauty of black people then you should recognize the beauty of your hair and a lot of people just like I said in my truth about natural hair video the reason we're not gonna have that representation of different people of mainstream media with natural hair or even just in general of people uplifting natural hair natural hairstyles or and just etc everything just think of it think of the programming involved into why we don't see natural hair as mainstream or as kept right just like i said in my truth about natural hair video people don't like themselves they don't they can't they can't stick with it they can't look at themselves in the mirror they can't look at themselves without a lace front or without straight hair and think wow this is beautiful you know what i mean and that's literally why I have a natural woman winter I never want to get that far removed from myself where me in my natural state like this well not like this <laughs> but overall like this is not beautiful to me why would I want that why would I want to wear lashes so much that I don't like my regular eyes I feel like I said a lot <laughs> In that just about natural hair what it signifies to me and just like talking yourself into loving it really but that's another reason why I really like my hair all right we looking good honey I did not take down all of my makeup I just have my little everyday makeup kit right here and I don't have any highlighters so I'm feeling like that's the end of this <laughs> makeup portion Whew. that's way too much way way too much <laughs> that's drawing <laughs> but another thing that helps me with my if I'm ever feeling insecure is understanding the versatility of black women like I was saying, mainstream media, they're not going to show you certain things, right? But they're going to make sure you run out and spend four to a thousand to two thousand. I mean, some people really spend a lot of money on hair. I know my cap was like 500, but I was spending. They're going to make sure you go out and spend that money. Yeah. But another thing that helps me when I'm feeling insecure or anything is understanding the versatility of black women i think mainstream media and mainstream in general people society is just really really obsessed with light-skinned people and by that i mean you guys really 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 take light-skinned people's word mixed people's word as law as like top top tier that's what I feel at least the way the natural hair movement got hijacked is because you or I don't know you me whoever <laughs> we looked at some light-skinned person telling us what we should do with our hair when we don't even have the same hair texture you're taking someone's word someone's recommendation above your own or above someone who looks like you to me that's giving obsession and in general i just feel like the mainstream media society like i said social media is moving more and more towards being obsessed with light-skinned people and like i was saying in my erasure of black women video the proof is in the pudding <laughs> And for me, it just gets tiring over and over and over again being shown, like Cat Williams said, weird face light skin girls 
being shown that over and over and over and over again and being told over and over and over again this is what beauty is this is beautiful this is beauty this is beauty conventionally attractive this is what's conventionally attractive this is what you should look like this is what you need to do this is what I just get tired of seeing weird face light skin people weird face mixed people and being told that that's beauty when I know and I understand the versatility of black women's beauty and know that black women range from literally the palest of pale to the darkest dark 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 blue black and blue you know what I mean and I see beauty in all the ranges of that but especially in the ranges on the other ends of the spectrum that don't get the appreciation I love looking at African models or dark skin dark dark skin models or models with natural hair one of my favorites of course Anokiai I think I'm saying it right but I just love her I wish she had a wider nose but <laughs> it's neither here nor there I love looking at black women's beauty all encompassing not just one end of the spectrum not just light skin not just people with my take my my skin tone all skin tones and when I understand the versatility and the beauty in the versatility but also the uniqueness in the versatility and in the variety it's like how could you not look at yourself and say well maybe I'm not a 3c curl black girl but I can just think of a graph right you have your x y axis you have your y axis and I forget that quadruple the graph where it's like four planes or whatever I forget what that's called but you can literally be anywhere on the x and y axis and place your plot anywhere and you can switch it out you can switch it out like for me being a natural black woman i know at any point i can literally straighten my hair and have the look i can literally put on another layer of makeup right now and be instagram baggy like it's not hard to achieve that but it is hard to love yourself it's much 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 harder to look at yourself in the mirror in the mirror fully natural and say yeah that's a bad bitch it's way way harder to do that than it is to put on a, a pound of makeup a skin tight dress a skin tight bodysuit and fucking say you're a bad bitch like yeah we all look good when we show our titties and put on makeup like yeah <laughs> duh <laughs> <laughs> but we don't all feel beautiful when we come home at the end of the night wipe all that stuff off and look in the mirror and then wake up the next morning we don't all feel that way but you should and these are just three things that help me feel myself a little reframing a little mindset mindset change I guess um, that helps me feel good and helps me feel even more secure than I already feel because honestly sometimes all it takes is a little switch and a little a little a little reframing that's what we call it in psychology all you need to do is reframe it a little bit and look natural hair is is, is IG batty now <laughs> you know what I mean so I hope you enjoyed my little rants I'm excited for this year because it's gonna be I don't know if you guys can see that but this is not makeup I got a tan a, a spray tan and it tans my freaking hands so my fans are brown <laughs> I know you see that um, but I'm about to get dressed and we're gonna go to the basketball game let's go all right here's the fit something super simple and then I just have on my us because we are not being cold my biggest fear in life being thirsty being cold that's why i keep me a water bottle and an extra jacket extra socks and extra gloves okay so <laughs> here's the fit real simple um i still have to put on my um lips and perfume but just a cool little cool little weekend fit you know nothing too crazy for your girl and we out
Anyways, we out here. <laughs> Hello. I am now entering the vlog. Yeah. Welcome me. Yeah. She's welcomed. We just pulled up to Crypto Arena. Uh, <laughs> you want to wait right here? or Sure. We have to wait for our friends because they have our tickets. It's performing. Right, yeah. We're here. Oh my backstage. God. Yeah. And she's going to sing the national anthem. So you guys are in for a treat. Yes. <laughs> An amazing treat. Real vocals only. Okay. I'm going to be YouTube famous now. No, I'm going to be, be neat. We got our passes too. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> you want to put yours in? Aye, aye, aye. I'm excited. Oh, wait, I don't watch basketball. TikTok, depending where you put this. YouTube or TikTok. Right? Oh yeah. I am doing a TikTok vlog too. See? I don't be, I don't be paying attention. The queen practicing. Oh my god. RB queen. Do you know that every single person around me was sick this week? I was like, Bro, get, get, away. get away. Do you need some water? Because I was about to go anyway. And get some? We can. We can From the little uh, room. Yeah. Did you see where they went? Like what room they went? Or they just around the room? I didn't even see. They had some outside? Just oh, that little room where we were waiting. Okay, Remember the yeah, little vent some. room? That's crazy. We can't go get any water for ourselves. That's why I'm bringing my water though? bottle. All right, y'all. I'm on a mission. This vlog will be on my phone from here on out because my camera is not wanting to cooperate with me. So, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> so water. Oh.
vlogging. That's not how that works at all. <laughs> She's She's vlogging. Vlogging. <laughs> you want to be in this? You ready? <laughs> you ready? <laughs> yes. We'll be back next week with the next. With the next. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa. Okay. Second personal for your team pal. Give me some of that.